a function f is defined by and we need sketch the curve clearly indicating asymptotes uh, state coordinates of any local maximum minimum and points of intersection so let's uh, start with asymptotes what about vertical asymptotes vertical asymptote arises only if we have division by uh, zero uh, so we need to consider denominator and equate it to zero or actually uh, it's done and uh, vertical asymptotes are at these points why because such points where there is division by zero must be excluded from the domain hence actually solutions are x is negative one and x is three but to be more useful let rewrite function as one over x uh, minus three x plus one and it's clear that x uh, at uh, x equals three and x is negative one uh, there is division by zero so vertical asymptotes are x is three and x is negative one now what about horizontal asymptotes horizontal uh, asymptotes uh, arise only if uh, there exists limit when x tends to plus or minus infinity and limit of function f when x tends to plus infinity um, denominator increases rapidly and y tends to zero also when x tends to negative infinity uh, y also tends to zero so horizontal asymptote it's uh, y uh, is equal to uh, zero what about uh, x intercept and y intercept uh, let uh, consider just x uh, to be equal to zero to find y intercept and it's quite easy just calculate to find that y is uh, minus one over three so zero uh, negative one over three it's y intercept and uh, to find x intercept we need consider y to be equal to zero and we can see that there are no solutions hence no x intercept what about maximum or minimum we need firstly consider uh, derivative and equate it to zero to find stationary uh, points and then we need check if uh, some point is maximum or minimum or actually we can deduce from a graph uh, but so let's find derivative so derivative is equal to we can see that uh, there, are re, uh, there is division of two functions so we can apply quotient rule uh, formula is given in data booklet and uh, it is equal to denominator squared uh, numerator derivative multiplied by just denominator but one derivative is zero minus uh, numerator multiplied by derivative of denominator so it's one multiplied by 2x minus 2 and equate it to 0 to get that x is 1 is stationary uh, point and let find y coordinate just substitute 1 for x and get that y is negative 1 over 4 and uh, there is only one stationary point and we can actually guess that it's a maximum or minimum from a graph but let's prove how to prove we can find uh, uh, the value of uh, the first derivative at the point a bit left for example 0 0.5 and we can see that um, you know, for x uh, to be equal 0 0.5 it's positive and at the point a bit to the right for example 
it's negative it means that to the left function is increasing to the right decreasing hence at this point it, it's maximum or you can find uh, the second derivative and uh, uh, it is needed to show that at point one the second derivative is less than zero but this way is uh, simpler for this situation so at one negative at one negative 1 over 4 it's maximum so it looks like this vertical asymptote at x equals 3 and vertical asymptote at x equals negative 1 but uh, it means that if uh, x tends to 3 y tends to plus or minus infinity in general and f uh, and uh, when uh, x tends to plus infinity y tends to zero but it may be here or here how to find out where uh, it is we can consider point uh, for example 4 and we can see that 4 minus 3 uh, 4 plus 1 it's positive and hence it's positive it's in this it's here also in the same way we can check for this part and since it's maximum and it's negative 1 over 3 and point 1 negative 1 over 4 how to guess that it's uh, maximum without uh, uh, finding this uh, first or second derivative if uh, you consider for example 2.9 for x you can see that denominator is very small and negative and 1 divided by very small but negative value y uh, tends to negative infinity and hence uh, since there is only one uh, stationary point hence uh, it tends to negative infinity hence its maximum and it uh, seems to be symmetric this part uh, seems to be symmetrical how to check it we can consider point for example at uh, uh, one unit to the right and if we get negative 1 over 3 uh, it implies that uh, this graph is symmetrical it it, uh, it is like parabola uh, so if it's 2 2 uh, hence we can see that it, it is uh, uh, y is negative 1 over 3 so it's uh, symmetrical and at x uh, uh, equals 1 it's uh, axis of symmetry so it, it looks like a concave down parabola so and it's all for this part of uh, the question the next part a function g is defined by where x is greater than 3 uh, inverse find inverse and find domain over the inverse function you can see that it's actually the same function but for x greater than 3 so, so we need just uh, this part and uh, how to find inverse inverse uh, can be found interchanging x and y so we write x for y and y for x and just solve for this new y and this new y is uh, inverse function uh, it's a usual quadratic uh, uh, function and we can use uh, with uh, discriminant so it becomes y squared minus 2y minus 3 is 1 over x move 1 over x to the left equate to 0 discriminant is 4 minus 4 times 1 times uh, negative minus we can factor out uh, minus and get 3 plus 1 over x uh, 
and hence roots are 2 plus minus root 4 plus 4 3 plus 1 over x and over 2 we can divide each term by 2 and it is equal to just 1 plus minus root 1 plus 3 plus 1 over x or 4 plus 1 over x and to get such form uh, we do what uh, common denominator it becomes 4x plus 1 and multiply each term by x and we can split it into root 4x squared plus x and just x in denominator but what uh, sign should be plus or minus we can see that g for g for function g x is y greater than 3 and from previous uh, graph uh, y is uh, greater than 0 and for inverse for inverse uh, domain becomes range range becomes domain so for uh, for inverse y should be greater than 3 and x should be greater than 0 so y must be greater than 3 and to get greater than 3 uh, here must be plus so we should write that uh, range of inverse greater of x greater than 3 hence y is uh, not y the y it's actually inverse function is 1 plus root of x as required and what about domain domain for inverse is the same as a range for usual function so greater than 0 it becomes x greater than 0 for inverse so domain domain of inverse it's x greater than 0 the next part of this question the function h is defined by octangent x over 2 given that its composite function h of g of a is pi over 4 it means uh, that we should substitute a for g and then obtain result substitute for x in the expression for h uh, and uh, finally find a it can be done but uh, i want uh, to do uh, that using inverse function so for function uh, usual function h it is given that x is g of a and y is pi over 4 but if we consider inverse for inverse y is g of a and x is pi over 4 i want to find inverse of h firstly and then consider this to find a you can you can use this and uh, you actually uh, will get absolutely the same result so what is g of a uh, g of a it's uh, 1 g of a it's 1 over a squared minus minus 2a minus 3 so let's find inverse function of uh, h to find it we write x for y arc 
tangent and y for x and apply tangent on both sides it becomes tangent x is tangent of, of arc tangent is just y over 2 hence inverse inverse of h is 2 times tangent x and now for inverse x is pi over 4 so 2 times tangent pi over 4 is g of a is uh, 1 over a squared minus 2a minus 3 tangent pi over 4 it's 1 so it's just 2 and we get usual quadratic equation with respect to a so we need just find a and we can do that using discriminant so it becomes a squared minus 2a minus 3 is a half multiply by 2 and rearrange to get finally 2a squared minus 4a minus 7 is 0 2a squared minus 4 minus 6 minus 1 is correct discriminant e 16 minus 4 times 2 times negative 7 which is equal to 72 root of discriminant is uh, 6 root 2 and a is equal to 4 plus minus 6 root 2 over 4 which is equal to 1 plus minus 3 over 2 root 2 and what sign must be here what is a a it's a domain it's actually x value of g but we know that g for g x is greater than 3 so it must be uh, plus or uh, so finally it's uh, 1 plus 3 over 2 uh, root 2 or actually there is a hint that you know, it is uh, given that uh, coefficients are positive integer and here is plus uh, so there must be plus if you get minus so it, it will be mistake so the final answer is this and that's all for this question